myself. There. Can you be in focus? Thank you. No, that's not a pen. This is a ball number two nib, no ladies pen. Sort of typical of wall. Let's try another wall pen. This is a wall number three nib, not that the numbers mean anything with respect to what they look like or what they sound like or how they write. Oh, actually what they look like, they're bigger. The nib itself is bigger. But it doesn't make a line that's a number three line. Kind of a mellow sound. It's not very scratchy, scritchy scratchy. This isn't scritchy scratchy either, I don't think. Oh, but it is different. It's a deeper sound. This is my battle axe nib. It's an old lady's pen that just sounds like it means business. It's deeper, deeper than this one. This one is. A couple of notes higher. No. Okay. What else do we have? This one will be very, I predict, mellow. So we've got Velvet fog, the Mel Torme of nibs, maybe, maybe not. This music nib is, oh, this is maybe more velvet foggy. If Mel Torme were a he wasn't a tenor, he was a baritone, I think. He was maybe a bass baritone. This is what he'd sound like if he were a pen. Scratchy, scratchy. Very tiny, fine, 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 fine. Come on. Type, type, write. There's a line right here. Can you see it? So fine. Such a fine line. This pen makes, I think it's the, one of the finest ones I have. It's still a little tiny bit flexible if you press down. Parker 51 Special Steel Nibbed Parker. Blue Ink. Ink. 
It's like my cat running around the house trying to find invisible. Actually, they're not so invisible. They're highly visible moths running around my house, flying around my house. Another 51. This has a gold nib, I think. Much, now I don't know if it's broader, seems broader, wetter. But you flip it on the upside down side. You get the thin version. What do you think, folks? Try this one. Big buck toothed stub nib. Deeper voice. I could do this all day long. And I do do it all day long. Aren't I lucky to have so many pens to play with? This is a 19th century dip pen nib. We're in 1880. Set into a fountain pen. Very, very springy. Where's my other one? Made another one here. Listen to that, that growl this one makes. just so amazing how different they are. Oh, sort of like a, a growl of a tiger as it's imagining what you'll taste like. Is that fat Pierre Gustafson going to be gristly or is he going to be tender? Who knows? No, oh, this is, I mean, this doesn't have the growl that the other one just had. Maybe this is that same lion after he consumed me digesting the, the meat his stomach as he grooms himself cleans the blood off his paws and claws and
buys an eyeball on the ground and gobbles it up. It doesn't have the growly before sound. Back to the growly before. Yeah, see, that's growlier. But this one, a modern Schaefer. So delicate. What are your thoughts? Write your answers below. All over shark, very wet. Inky, inky goodness. Let's add a little bit more blue. Parker 51 with blue. Blue ink in it. I'm trying to remember the name of the company that makes this. Is it diamide ink? It's a sort of peacock blue color. matches the pen. Okay. Ooh. 51 again, but black ink and sort of a more slightly Broader nib. It's hard to tell when you change ink colors. The black always seems broader than the blue. The end. Okay, put your pens away here. Put them all away.